Hey guys, what is up y'all? It's Angela. So back when I first started my channel, I did a video called reading my childhood diary, but I have changed so much since then. I mean, maybe I as a person have it, but I've changed like my YouTube self, if you know what I mean, because I definitely was not the same person on and off camera and I'm trying to make it Okay, I, I'm not making any sense. I'm trying to make myself the same person on and off camera. It's just kind of hard to be yourself sometimes, like when you're talking to yourself on your phone. So, and also my entire room changed. We're gonna do this again. And I think it's gonna be better this time. This is my diary. Uh, <laughs> it's very sophisticated, I know. And I still have a lot left. So let's get into it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys had this in your elementary school lives, but my elementary school district would always hold like a book fair event once like every semester or quarter or something and it was literally the highlight of the quarter slash semester like you go to school you get your money and you can buy books and all of those super overpriced little trinkets <laughs> okay so 10-1-14 um and i said dear diary today was great well i guess you could say normal actually i think i'm just gonna like put a picture of the page right here so that you guys can see it i'm just gonna okay so the great thing about it is actually i probably shouldn't say that the great thing is about it is that blank brought me a blue pen with a puppy on top from the book fair she was trying to cheer me up because i lost pipsy and Blank is the one who I blame. She was the one who last saw Pipsy. I kindly included a picture. Pipsy was a pink eraser dog that I got from the last book fair and I paid for with my own money. Well, actually my parents' money, but like, you know. And I was convinced that someone had stolen her. RIP Pipsy, you will be missed. But yeah, then she disappeared and um, someone told me that that girl stole her, so. Okay, okay, this is a good one. 12-21-14, I was nine years old. Dear diary, today is in December. Tomorrow will be the first day of winter break. Nothing exciting happened with the, you know, quotations because we're quirky like that. It happened today. Daddy, I don't know why I put daddy. I never call him daddy, but I will. <laughs> Um, I, I call my parents by like mom and dad in Chinese. So like whenever I like write about them in my diary, I don't really know like how to like describe them because I never call them dad or mom or daddy or mommy. I've never said that. That sounds really weird to me. But anyways, showed Julie and me, Julie's my sister, a movie that's rated PG-13 about a tornado. It wasn't scary, but it gave me the creeps. I have a nice drawing because yeah. 12-24-14 Christmas Eve. Dear Diary, today is Christmas Eve. Yesterday we went to Olive Garden for the first time. Y'all, Olive Garden is like, it's great. Um, I recommend the kids meals because the kids meals are honestly pretty big and the salad's really good. Their advertisement guy is Ollie the Olive. At Fazoli's, it's Tony the Tomato. The appetizers were huge. Okay, well, not that big, but you get me. I would write in my diary like it was an actual person and I would try to talk like how I thought teenagers talk because I thought that was cool. Even though I've never said, okay, well, not that big, but you get me. So next I have a page with a drawing of my younger sister. It says, this is Julia in a crown in a huge, what it looks like, it's like a ball gown and boots with shoelaces because that's how I drew shoelaces. And it says, she does not like to work. Okay, so next I have these two pages. Uh, one side says spy pass and it has two papers taped on it. And the other side says top secret. So let's look at the spy pass page first. I, I don't know what this is. I have a guess, but I'm not sure. Okay, so this is a piece of notebook paper that I wrote a secret code on and then every letter has a symbol except I gave up at J. So then like only A through J has a secret code, you guys. We don't stand letters that come after J. And then the other paper is a piece of paper that um, a younger kid gave to me. And she drew me, as you can see, you know, her illustration skills are very high. 
in advance, Angela Leader of Agents, agent number one. On the other side, it has this lunchbox card that my mom bought. It was literally like a pack of cards at, and it's like called lunchbox cards and your parent is like supposed to slide them in into your lunch, you know? But I never packed my lunch for school. I think it was just for like camp or something. Thanks for being a great kid. Did you know? Did you know it's, it, uh, it is impossible to sneeze with your eyes open? Yes, I did know that. And then I have a coin from um, my old favorite place to go, like an arcade bumper cart sort of place called Incredible Pizza, but then it went bankrupt and I literally cried. And now we have a sticker. I lost a tooth. Yes, I lost all of my teeth by the time I was like 10, so. Okay, so I don't know if any of you guys can like relate to this, but I was like writing when I was nine, right? And then when I was like 10, I looked back on what I wrote and I cringed at everything I wrote. So I figured that I would do my future self a favor and just kind of try and like validate all of the, like the weird things I wrote. So this page, it was when I was obsessed with Dork Diaries. <laughs> I just love Nikki and with a picture of a smiley face. And then in pencil, clearly a year later, I wrote, no, I don't. And then back to pen, she's a dork, but I found out that I am too. Another smiley face because Nikki would do that in the Dork Diary series. Not always a bad thing. And then I drew Nikki very badly drawn without book because I wanted to tell my future self that I didn't need the book to draw Nikki because I am just that talented of a drawer. And then at the bottom in pencil, it says, P.S. I was so immature that time. I'm really glad I did that though because it makes it all like, it makes it funnier, okay? I don't know if any of you guys did this, but I also wrote like an entire page just with invisible pen, like one of those things that you would get at the book fair. And it has like an LED light and then you have to like shine the LED light on in order to read it, you know? I It's probably still in here somewhere, but I'm too lazy to get it out. 5-19-15, I was 10. Uh, dear diary, I read the pages I wrote before this one. I'm sorry about all the crush stuff. I've been reading Dork Diaries too much. It's messing up my mind. I probably had sand in my brain from all the things kids have been saying to me. I don't know what kids were saying to me. I wasn't really bullied in elementary school. So I don't I don't know what that meant, but um yeah. I haven't written in like a year and year and year. Parentheses. Wow. I didn't have time. Why didn't you have time? You were 10. What were you busy with? Okay, anyways. Anyway, today was probably one of the most interesting days ever. First, I dropped my bracelet in the lake. It was a really cool bracelet. It had like batteries and it like flashed, you know? I had to fish out my bracelet with a stick. A stick! <laughs> At my old house, we used to live in front of a lake. It was amazing, but then we moved. And now we just live in front of grass. Second, when I got home, there was a baby bunny in the basement well. A bunny! I don't know why I felt the need to repeat things and add an exclamation mark at the end. We named him <laughs> Pyotr. See ya. Another smiley face. Okay, so by the way, P-I-O-T-R technically in like American English is pronounced Peter, which is um, Peter Tchaikovsky, like the classical music composer. By the time I thought it was pronounced Pyotr, I did an entire presentation on him and I called him Pyotr the entire time. So when I named the bunny, we would call him Pyotr because I thought it was Pyotr. I drew another smiley face in EOS chapstick, which is like the most 2015 thing I could have done, honestly. Maybe it's still... No, it doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> I have another top secret paper. It's in like an envelope shape. Top secret. Alias, Trixie. <laughs> Back then we thought alias was a super cool word to use. And when I was younger, I loved the name Trixie. I think it was because it sounded like a name a fairy would have because I really was, I had an obsession phase with fairies. And I also had an obsession phase with dragons, but yeah. 12-16-15, we had a school project. We had to make an animal out of clay. I chose an Arctic fox. And I said, dear diary today was dot 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 okay i guess we started making our clay sculptures and systems which was like the subject name i'm trying to make my arctic fox but it looks like a sausage ugh with another face that's a frowny face and then we went into 2016 and this is like the first year i moved over 
and I was really sad even though I had friends I was still very sad because I miss my friends I always like don't deal with moving that well because I don't like change it's like a problem and I also noticed that in fifth grade it was when all of my classmates started making like jokes about like yeah and also cussing which is really weird to me now that I think about it like fifth grade Fifth grade was when they started cussing. I wrote a list of my crushes from kindergarten to fifth grade. And then in 2016, I also started middle school and I was super stressed about it. And okay, I said, I drew a picture of me trying to do the locker combination on the lockers and struggling because locker combinations are pretty difficult for me in sixth grade. But then by the time I was in seventh grade or like eighth grade or something, I don't know. I was basically a master. Okay, so that concludes my mm, elementary school life and then like part of sixth grade so if this video does well i will continue into middle school but yeah i think that's all for today um i've been filming for like 20 minutes so this is probably gonna end up being like a 12 minute video still have this much left let me know in the comments if you actually found this interesting or not honestly my first video didn't do very well but uh, I actually kind of liked how it turned out even though I looked ugly in that video and I thought I looked good but I looked kind of ugly so just yeah but anyways like and subscribe if you like this video um like always and I post every Saturday so yeah turn on the notification bell do what you need to do yeah I think that's all I have to say okay <laughs> I will see you guys next week bye sorry that was that was really weird bye goodbye goodbye Bye. Have a good day. Have, have a good Halloween. Happy Halloween.